guys, welcome back to Toops Time. Dark and early morning to you. Okay, that was a little corny. You're watching our daily vlog series called The Daily Grind, and this is episode number 33. We are about to milk autumn, and it is chilly outside. Sissy pants. Hey, man. Don't misunderstand me. I am overjoyed to have these temperatures rolling in. Sick and tired of all the heat. And with the cool weather means deer hunting, means fire pits, means getting outdoor work done that you've been saving all year long. I'm very excited. I hope these stay around. It's quite beautiful out here this morning. It's hard to tell over the phone, but the sky is beautiful. <laughs> Put on something that's not so loud. Thank you. Hey, girl. How you doing this morning? Did they save you any food? Hey, pretty Hazel. Good morning. How you doing? Pretty good. You are beautiful. Yeah, I know. Missy acting weird like always. So you mean you hey, see Missy. it too? <laughs> Oh, gotta get the big bugs. Girl. Gotta get them off. <laughs> big, huge girl. She is so tall. Alright, ladies. All done. See y'all this evening. Milking routine's done for the morning. Let's go get some breakfast. Woohoo! So I've been racking my brain even more on this door here. The client had actually picked out one of the doors I have on Etsy. And the door on Etsy has a really nice pretty floral design in the middle there and in the middle there along with some words but basically what she wanted was a simpler version of that still some type of floral design in the middle and also it's got like a piece of trim that goes on the inside of that piece of trim as well and i agreed to that for her problem is is she told me that the door was 42 inches wide, which I can do on my machine. My machine's only so big. I didn't get a four by eight machine. I got a 30 by 40 machine because I didn't have the money for the bigger one. <laughs> and uh, so there's only so wide I can actually go on my machine. So she gets back her, her final measurement and that final measurement ends up being 52 inches, an entire 10 inches bigger than I quoted her for, which is a huge difference when it comes to CNC work. And so I racked my brain and racked my brain trying to figure out a way to give her the design. She couldn't figure it out. So I ended up making wider molding to fill in a lot of that space and she agreed that that would be good enough just the molding 
but I like to make people happy, so I've been racking my brain a little more. And I think I'm going to try to use some 3 8 material and make a piece of molding to go on the inside of this here. Show you what I'm talking about. This is completely different than how I would normally do it, but I'm thinking about doing something like this. If you actually take these out, this is what I'm gonna make. <clears throat> Designed this to just be 3 8 inches thick. And what I'll probably do is put this one in the top panel and then the bottom panel, I'll just make one without the arch and make it square. And I'll just add a little bit of extra dimension to this piece for her. I think it's gonna make her happy. We'll see. <laughs> so in thinking along these lines, I actually thought of something else that might work that I could use to actually get her a shape in there. Check this out. I think she might like that. I'm just realizing I don't think I've ever even shown you guys my CNC machine. <laughs> this is my setup. I've got my computer here that operates it. This is the machine here. It's a Shop Saber 23. And it's a beast. Does an amazing job. My entire shop, if you ever seen all this piping, that's not my plumbing pipe, that is vacuum. Every major tool in here has a vacuum run into it. machine is calibrating itself right now. It does this every single time you turn it on. It's the homing procedure is what it's called. There's actually a warm-up procedure for this. These are the gates that I made for the vacuum. See how I just made this hole a line up with the suction line by pushing it in here. So that opens the valve and then closes the valve going back in. All of these are built the same way. About to go ahead and cut me some 3 8 material and mount it to my tabletop here so that I can get to cutting. So I was about to start getting to cutting and realized that my vacuum is full. So this is how we replace this. That's where the dust comes in, goes through this dust deputy, drops down into this 50 gallon drum here. All we have to do to change this out, pop this open. Easier said than done with one hand. But this comes up like this. Pull the drum out. And this will just hang there, waiting for me to get back.
got back from doing some filming with the DSLR. I'm gonna be posting a video about us getting to pet our sheep now that we have them trained pretty good. Getting better and better every day, but we're petting them, which is pretty awesome. And Asher just killed it. It was absolutely adorable. Can't wait to post that one. <laughs> Well, while I've got some of those cuts going in there, I'm gonna head down to that rock ravine and get a few more boulders for the venue. Bet y'all thought I was exaggerating about the size of this door. I've got nine foot ceilings in here. Look at this. Good grief, would you put a shirt on already? Doesn't look so big whenever it's laying on the ground. But you stand that thing up, that sucker's huge. Got a little more drying to do on this door here before we get to start doing the finish work on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I stood that thing up so that I can go ahead and get started on the styles and rails for these other two doors. Time for me to watch little man while mama gets some work done on the computer for the business so something easy for me to do with him ride the tractor and go get more rocks we're going to get some rocks yeah rocks look at them look at that one that one's so big makes you look like a two-year-old or something <laughs> yeah that's not a slide <laughs> yeah I don't think anybody will be getting past these Some of these are some really big rocks. Get a sucker. <laughs> this one I'm on is about three foot tall. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How big is this rock I'm on? Too the old. What? Old. I don't even know what that means. Let 
Look at you, big boy. Be careful on that one. <laughs> oh, I know what you were saying. Just a second ago, I said, that big rock makes you look like a two-year-old or something. So he was saying, when I asked him how big the rock is, he said two-year-old. <laughs> Crazy kid. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to continue. Look at me. Look at me. To here and then start carving Look out that me. way towards those. That will be the Look corner I believe I stopped at. We'll Look see though. Me. I'm three year old. You're a two year old? Are you big? Like this tall. This tall? How tall is this tall? How many? How many feet tall are you? One, two, three, four, how many? Two. Two? <laughs> That's about right. You're probably like close, close to three feet. You can jump, go ahead. Count to three. One, two. Three. <laughs> Good job. That was a big walk. That was. What are you gonna do? You gonna jump from that rock to this rock? Yeah. That's a long way. You sure you can do that? Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. It's like a nine foot gap. Whoa! You almost made it. You gonna jump on it? Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa! You fell. You fell, dude. <laughs> Are you going to go climb on one? Daddy, Which one? On that one? Which one? Go ahead. Dad, climb on that one. Show me. I don't want to climb on that one. You don't? I don't want to climb on Which that one do you want me to climb on? That one. The new one? This one here? Okay. This one's kind of pointy. Okay, let's try. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, Daddy did it. That is at the top of the mountain. Jump on that. You want me to jump on that? Here we go. What you think of that? You gonna get on the flat one? Go ahead. Hey, can you climb that one? That's like a mountain, huh? Can you sit on it? Oh yeah, mama be so proud. Yeah, you can get down. Climb on this one and sit it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm on it. You gonna get on it too? Uh-huh, with sure. you? Yeah, with me. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Like a sit -by. Yeah, this is like a good sitting spot, isn't it? Like a sit -by. I like this spot. What do you think? Can you over here? Yeah. Hey, you wanna see yourself? Oh yeah, who you sitting with? You wanna get down there? Yeah, you can get down. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I can get down too. You helping daddy? You're doing a good job. It's not water in there for it. For maple. Maple? Man, is she going to be thirsty? She eats a lot of food. She eats a lot of food, huh? So she needs some water to wash it down. You're so nice. Time to go put maple up. calling those cows in. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Maple Welly. Maple Welly. That's a, is that her new nickname? I like it. Maple Welly. Maple Welly. <laughs> yeah. You want to pet them? After they eat. After they eat, okay. Come on, pretty girls. Get on over here and get yourself a snack. <laughs> Hey, pretty girl. How y'all doing? Jump. Missy, Missy. Hey, Missy. Ouch. Well, I was gonna pull Missy off of Autumn's food, 
Next thing I know, Autumn is bucking her off of her food. <laughs> I didn't even have to do it. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on, girls. Look what I got. Go that way. Go. Y'all are all up in my way. There you go. You see where Maple is for me? Jesse swears every time she comes out here. Maple's just waiting in the pen for me. It's amazing. She definitely don't like me as much. I really have no idea why. Well, I guess I can't complain too much. Went back there with some grain, had her on her booty, and said, let's go, and she started walking. I tell you what, she is so much better than she used to be. You wanna get out? Okay. In my spot. All right, go in your spot. Uh, Don't get in any poo poo, okay? Hey, you wanna help me shut Maple's gate? Uh huh. All right, lift it up right there. Watch your hands, there you go. All right, push it closed. Grab it right here. Oh, you're holding it up, good job. I didn't even have to tell you to do that, you're so smart. Mama must be teaching you. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this. There you go. I'm gonna do this one around the other side. Oh. I will do it. All right, drop it on there, you ready? One, two, three, drop it on there. Good job. I bet Olive will let you pet her. You gonna try to pet her? You gotta walk real slow though, remember? Yeah, just real slow. You want daddy to show you how? Ah. He's stuck? <laughs> nice and easy. You ready? We're gonna pet, we're gonna pet Olive. Hey girl. Look, she got bugs all over her, doesn't she? Isn't she so pretty? Okay. Look, Olive, look. You're on camera. Nice and easy. Yeah. yeah. Look at her. Oh, she's so sweet. She's giving Daddy kisses. What's that? That's poo poo. Old poo poo. Yeah, you see that? Your foot's almost in it. Ew. Olive loves to be pet. Doesn't she? Where am I sick? Right there. I don't hit her. Oh, don't you hit her. No, uh. -uh. That poo poo. Yeah, that's poo poo. No, that's nasty. <laughs> you gonna you gonna use your stick to play with the poo poo? Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. What? What? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's gross. Olive's like, why are you playing with poo poo? That's nasty. That's nasty, man. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, that'll be it for today's video. I think we're about done. Uh, got a good bit of stuff done today. A couple changes of plans, as usual. Like I said in the past video, we always wake up with a plan. It's just whether things allow for that plan to play out as we expect it or not. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this video, please share it. Guys, that would help us out a ton subscribe hit that like button that notification bell and we will see you on the next one god bless y'all